If you're used to working with the built-in shading model here in the Surface Editor, but you want to take advantage of the power of the Node Editor, you might want to investigate the standard Material Node. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at it. I'm going to activate the Node Editor. And let's open up the Node Editor. And we, even though right here we can see we've got a, a duplication of what's going on back here, uh, it does work a little different, but if you want it, if you want to have the setup that it's a little more familiar to the the built-in shading model, we can go over to the Add Node, Materials, Standard Node, okay, and I'm going to plug that right into the Material Node, and if we if we want, I'm going to just maximize my window and then slide this over. Okay, and so what we're looking at is something that should look very familiar to you. Uh, it's the, the standard setup in the Surface Editor. Uh, the only thing that's missing uh, are the T's right next to these E's, and which would open up the Texture Editor, and that's because we can just plug right in to the, the channels here. Okay, so this might, uh, this might be a little faster for you if you go, well, I know I want... Um, 60% specular, 20% glossiness, I want 10% reflection, uh, you know, and you can key in this way instead of adding a, um, going to add node, constant, scalar, typing in a value, let's do um, 50%, plugging that into, say, luminosity, let me uncheck the, let me, I'm disconnecting the material node, and then and plugging it in that way, if you're more familiar with the, the standard Surface Editor setup, you might like to use the, the Material node, which will allow you to do the same thing here. But don't, don't be fooled into thinking that just because you can't access the Texture Editor here, that you can't fully control your surfaces, because we can still do that with the setup of the, the node. So if I want to, I can go in and add, say, a Turbulent Texture, I'm going to size it down. I'm going to increase the contrast and uh, just make that white. Okay, And then I can plug this into luminosity, which would be the same as going into the texture editor uh, and applying the surface. But what's nice is, instead of having to um, copy and paste to, say, uh, specular, I can just drag that here. So this might be a nice way for you to um, dive into the node editor by taking advantage of the standard uh, material node. Uh, it allows you to build custom materials uh, with this node and you get to do it with the comfort of the setup that you're used to in the surface editor. Okay, So that's just a quick look at using the standard material node found under add node materials standard okay and it allows you to work very similar to what you've been working uh, like in the surface editor but right in the node editor